Beggar's Banquet First Listen, track seven and eight, Prodigal Son and Stray Cat Blues. Track number seven on the album is called Prodigal Son. I couldn't find a ton of information on this song other than the fact that it was originally recorded by a guy called Reverend Robert Wilkins, who is a gospel singer who made music back in the day, back, back in the day, even further back than this one. So here we go. Let's check out this track here, Prodigal Son. Wow, it does sound from like the 20s. Oh, I like that. Well, poor boy, two stars red, started down the road, started down the road. All he had started down the road. One out in this world, well, I don't know. That'll be the way to get along. Well, poor boy, all he had, family come in the land. I can't believe that's Jagger. I, I had to look it up. That is Jagger, right? He's on the vocals. It sounds like a totally different person. He's doing another kind of impression type track, like the the country song, which was called Dear Doctor, I think it was called. Yeah, this sounds totally different, man. But I, I, I really like the sound of this. Thudding, it's like he's thudding on the guitar. song lyrically it's just the mix is a bit shit if i'm being honest i think his voice is kind of lost in the mix probably by on purpose trying to recreate the sound um i don't love the idea of trying to rec recreate a bad sound like trying to make it sound authentic but you just kind of destroy the mix his voice is kind of lost in the guitars <laughs> Super interesting song. There's things that I love and things that I don't love. What do I love? The writing of the song is unbelievable, man. And there's something about these old school records, uh, these old school blues, country, gospel songs that are unbelievably sad. They tell they tell the tales of some really heartbreak, bad things happening. And the expression of that in the lyrics is, is always great. Some great allusions to God and loss. The idea of looking up to, to the Lord for mercy and singing for peace and some kind of answers to the relief for the pain in his life uh, very very interesting tale of loss in this one okay what what also do i what also i like is the rhythm uh sort of style of the guitar um, whenever a song has a strong rhythm as you guys probably know i always tend to like it more i find that about this style of guitar playing i really like that aspect of it what don't i like the mix is terrible man the bad mix, his voice sounds kind of lost in the guitars. They're trying to do a thing here on this album, uh, which I'm kind of starting to get and understand what this, this record is supposed to be. 
where it's like uh, taking from those these old school songs and trying to build up something new on them but i'd like them to build new on them don't try and imitate the the bad sound recordings of the era but that's nonetheless interesting song oh yeah i see <laughs> stray cat blues it's in this video okay here we go next song track eight on beggar's banquet stray cat blues is the eighth song on the album written by Jagger and Richards and produced by Jimmy Miller of course Miller's production in the song is very representative of his style prominent hi-hats droning piano which I've loved so far big shout out to Nicky Hopkins who is apparently a session piano player for the Beatles the Who and all types of other bands Mellotron performed by Brian Jones always adding something different and is apparently inspired by the track Heroin by the Velvet Underground which I'll be getting to soon enough in my Velvet Underground and Nico album run here we go let's check out this song Oh, that sounds like a velvet. That sounds like Lou Reed. Get a clear platform, your feet on the stairs. I know you're no scared, honey. I'm a sucker for muddy, dirty guitars. I'll be a beast if you just come up. No one does it better than Richards. It's no hanging matter. It's no capital crime. I can see that you're 15 years old. No, I don't want your ID. I can see that you're so far from home, but that's no hanging matter. Only the Rolling Stones can do that, dude. They just put the raunchiest, most explicit shit that's wrong and pair it with great music and make you kind of fall in love with the song, right? Now, taken out of the context of music, I think music and art is the arena for wrong, for you to say wrong things, for you to express maybe bad or negative emotions. So the idea that this is obviously kind of telling a tale of this kind of deviant dude who's trying to sleep with an underage girl, I think is supposed to add to the taboo atmosphere of the album and the music, right? It's made it's made to make you feel wrong. It's part of the thing. You can't take it too seriously. But there's some great lines in this thing. It's no hanging matter. It's no capital crime. Obviously talking about his desires to be with this girl. But no hanging matter. I like that. Good lines on this thing. Again, with the writing, right? Great uh, use of a theme. It's called Stray Cat Blues. But what's another word for cat? Maybe like Pussycat. 
you know, I, I think you understand where I'm going with this. It's talking about a lady here. And then the idea of scratching and biting in allusion to the cat, but obviously talking about this girl. Yeah. Interesting. Love the sound of this thing, man. Explosive. great song man this is the the stones at their best you know a bunch of very very talented capable musicians coming together to make a song dirty guitars raunchy topic to discuss it's just wrong in every way but it still works man love the track i think it's like quintessential stones i'm starting to really understand at this point the scope and what they were going for for this album i'm, I'm totally understanding even with the the title of the track beggars banquet the taboo subjects that they're picking the styles of music that they're taking from it's all supposed to be down dirty wrong speaking for the the uh, downtrodden the beggars of, of the world right and that's the concept of the record if you will it has a sound to it totally getting that now and i like it i like it there's there's going to be aspects of it that's not exactly for me because they're taking from like old school country songs but in general I, I really like the the theme and sounds of this album so far i think we've got two more songs to go so catch you guys on that one 